Hi everyone, welcome once again to Root Access. It's been a while. Ryan Ritchie, Jamie DeGrazio, former Mac genius. Yep. So what we do here, we, we break it down as only former Apple employees can. <laughs> and do not adjust your e-sets. Uh, this is... What is this? What is this? What is Who going on this? here? That doesn't look like an Apple logo. No. Uh, Jamie has has done the hard work for you here and taken the Dell, what is this, Mini? It's a Dell Mini 9. Mini 9 running yep. Mac OS 10. It is. It's running Mac OS 10. Can we see, see that? that. I, I, well, probably I not, know. but that's all right. Um, yeah, so... So take us through the process here. Um, we'll get to, we'll do a couple segments on this, but let's start with the, the installation and just how does one go about turning a Dell into a Mac machine? Um, well, are, is this breaking the law? I'm not really sure. No, not cur um, currently. Uh, well, so I, you know, a lot of people have obviously installed OS X on Intel non-Apple hardware now. Um, but the good thing is about the Dell Mini 9 is it's pretty much supported, all the hardware inside is pretty much supported by um, just a retail version of OS X. Okay. Retail version of Leopard. So you don't have to go... You know, messing with, messing with drivers and trying to get the audio to work or the Wi-Fi to work. It pretty much just works out. Right. Live. That's what surprised me because before we, we started rolling, you know, I said to you, well, hey, well, you don't have any audio, right? Yeah. Or you don't have Wi-Fi. Because I know early on and with other models, that's a problem. But you said Mini 9, yep. pretty much good to go. So I basically, there's a great website, great resource called uh, MyDellMini.com. I think that's, the, yeah, that's it. And uh, there's uh, forums there. And basically, they give you step by step on how to do it. Hmm. Whether you're installing with a, you know, plugging in an external DVD drive, or what I did, which was use a single USB drive. Okay. And it, it, you did you did need a PC for part of it. You needed to um, basically install. You need to partition the USB drive, install uh, like a Linux kernel on one part, and then OS X on the other. Mm -hmm. You're scaring me now. It's, it sounds, it, believe me, I, it's, it sounded more complicated than I thought, but you just followed the steps and it was just, you know, they have a link here, download these files, put this on the drive. Okay. You know, take your retail version of OS X, open up disk utility, image it to the yellow partition of the USB drive. You basically plug it in. Um, you just have to, you know, hold down zero when you boot the just go Dell. to the site we don't we, we don't we, we, we might be skirting we don't want to go yeah. too far it, here it's, it's, into telling them how to do it it's really simple though. our lawyers are not very good <laughs> and um and then next thing you know you're it you know took about a half hour and so Dell Mini 9 but you did make some some mods you you, you tweaked you souped this up a little bit yeah so I got this uh refurbished but it looked brand new when it came okay. um on Dell's website for 240 and I think they're actually selling them new now for 240. And what that included was just 512 uh, RAM, a four gig uh, solid state drive, mm -hmm. and uh, Linux. Now, being a longtime Mac user, a 512 of RAM, I mean, it would be great to make it say two gigs, <laughs> yeah. but I, I know how much RAM is. If I go to Apple's website and try to buy two gigs of RAM, I better, I better have the Benjis <laughs> ready. I mean, that must've cost as much as the machine. Well, so, uh, so 240 was for that. Then right. uh, on Amazon, I got the two gig RAM chip for $20. <laughs> And uh, and then the big, the little bit of an upgrade, the bigger expense was um, I got a faster uh, solid state drive, mm -hmm. uh, 32 gig, what's called Run Core, which runs I don't know what that means, but it, it, it just it has a faster read write access because actually the a lot of these you know little tiny netbooks that ship with the solid state drive, so it's really a slow speed drive. Right. right. So the 32 gig. Uh, fast solid state drive was one hundred nineteen dollars, so that's okay. a little pricey for okay. thirty two gigs, well, but that's fine for a netbook. Now I'm looking at the size of this thing; it's a nine inch screen, right? Yeah. I can't help but notice, unlike the MacBook Air, I, I see multiple ports. Yes. Yeah. So, so it has, you know, what is that? Three USB VGA out. Full size VGA out. Um, Ethernet. E Ethernet. You know, power. You know, Kensington lock, mic in, headphone out. Mm -hmm. Uh, built-in webcam. So the whole process to get uh, Mac OS X on there, how long did that take, roughly? The actual install? The install, the things you had to do ahead of time to prep with the, the Linux kernel. Yeah, the, the and setup stuff. and everything was probably about, you know, I made some mistakes along the way, so, but that would take you probably about an hour. Okay. And the actual install was probably, you know, half hour. Hmm. So, you know, the, the install is no different once it's running than if you're installing it on, you know, a Mac that you bought at the Apple Store. And speaking of the Apple Store, 
uh, if you're working at the Apple Store, turn your volume down right now. <laughs> the, the plan is maybe to hit the Apple Store <laughs> with Mac OS X on here, and you're going to have a question about iTunes. We're going to see maybe down the line if we can get some tech support at the Apple Store. Sure. Just let's see what would happen. But, uh, but so far, so good. Um, you know, all, like you said, uh, Wi-Fi sound out of the box is running. Oh, it cool. seem, it boots fast. Okay. Um, it shuts down super fast, mm -hmm. uh, probably like in two seconds. And I don't know if that's because the, it's a clean install. Right. Or if it's because the, the solid state drive, it's writing to that very quickly. I don't know. But it's, it's a great little machine. And for, okay. for $300, $340, can't $340, we'll say 350 $350 350. Mac right there. Yeah. Now, you are, of course, including the price of a single license. Well, no. So we would, we would add that of to course. the cost. So that yeah. would be an extra $120 or maybe $60 but if still, you're a student. But still, $479 full-fledged uh, little netbook here. Uh, in the next segment, though, we'll talk a little bit more about what you found in actually using it, yep. pros and cons, that kind of thing. Stay tuned. That's coming up.